Hey hello everybody, my name is Kato, welcome back from the video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and continued where we assimilated basically the playoffs. Uh, we did pretty well in the playoffs. We still once again ended up uh, fin uh, getting eliminated, uh, uh, swept, uh, that is, in the third round. So two years in a row we get swept in the third round, unfortunately. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing, uh, the one thing we had more in, uh, than the last previous year is we got the President Trophy. So we were the best team of the league. Now it's just a matter of seeing as we're going to assimilate the, uh, onto the draft. It's just a matter of seeing whether we're going to be better or not. Like if there's anything we can do to really upgrade ourselves even further, make us better for the playoffs because I'm not having any problems for the, the play the, the season itself it's the playoff that's the problem I want to get further than the third round you know I want to win the cup so that's our next challenge uh, Pittsburgh is going to get the very first draft pick and afterwards so they didn't get obviously they got rid of Crosby and everything they don't have Crosby and Malkin anymore so uh, they're going for a complete rebuild over here, uh, we I don't see us anywhere, so that's pretty much unfortunate. So our first round pick is going to be very far away. It's going to be in the dead last ones. Uh, for the forwards, we have a couple players decide to retire. Enzo Kopitar finished his career with the Vegas Golden Knights. Finished with a season of 47 points. Ah. Could have been a lot better, I think. Oh, well, actually, it was a 78 overall. Okay, yeah, it was dropping fast. So, Kopitar, uh, Kessel decided to retire as well. So, uh, Kessel was playing for... I, I think that was, that was us, right? No, that was Vegas. So, he was playing for Vegas as well. Vegas basically lost uh, the two of them. So, Kessel retired as well. Uh, Jonathan Taze retired as well. All right. So, uh, three big-time uh, legends in my eyes decided to retire. Uh, Corey Perry decided to retire as well. Logan Couture, Dustin Brown, uh, James Van Rieslein, James Neal, Louis Erickson. So a couple of players here and there. Uh, lots of players actually that decide to uh, like retire this year. What about defense? Uh, defense, Brent Burns retired, boys. So uh, there he is at 40 years of age. Brent Burns decided to uh, retire right here. Um, we've got... Uh, Giordano as well. So Winnipeg basically lost uh, two players, veterans right here. Giordano and Brent Burns retired. We've got Edler as well. Vlasic and uh, Myers and stuff. And the rest is not really anything crazy. And goalies, Carey Price retired. Well, what do you know? Yeah, I, I kind of had a feeling about one. He spent uh, the last season, the season of his career in the AHL. So that's not a surprise to me. I mean, he had a really good season in the AHL, but unfortunately, like, they kind of wasted that. So he's not going to get to the 500 mark, but he did end up having 400 plus wins in his career. So um, congrats to Carey Price for a good career. Uh, decided to retire at 37 years of age, boys. Okay, so no more Carey Price. It's a brand new era, boys. Uh, Dumnik is, uh, is gone as well. So on our side, I do see some players did retire on our side. Uh, uh, Corey Perry, of course, is our biggest one. As for the minors, we got him for the minors as a veteran. So Perry is uh, is gone now. Erickson as well. Cogliano. We lost all three of them. And for the goalies, we also lost Kudabin. So Kudabin uh, retired, boys. Lost uh, basically four players. Dustin Brown, Kopitar, Kessel, and Jordan Giordano are all coaches now. Available coaches. And Scandella is a scout. Okay. That's it, boys. So continue simming, please. Yeah, whatever. Let me see the coaches. Anybody, co any coaches I need to resign? Nope. So everybody's still there, boys. So uh, we can hop on in uh, straight away. I'm not going to waste any time here, boys. We know the deal. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins getting the first round pick overall. And we are all the way at uh, the third. Okay, so 30th. We're 30th. This is going to be something. Uh, let me see if I can't move up, boys. It's going to be a tough one. To move up like that, it's going to take a lot of trades. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do anything. 
Got my elite players that eventually are going to be ready to play for us. Uh, we got Lazarev, which is now ready to play for us. So we got the lower late. He's ready to play. Uh, okay, so anybody that I um, know I'm not going to really play. I mean, I've got these guys. Uh, it doesn't take much, to be honest. I could literally trade away these guys. and I think that would work out, boys. That's not going to work out. Okay, so bottom sixes, you can't trade them, really. They don't have any anything. I guess I could trade away Zikov. Uh, Zikov would work. No, not even. Zik not not even Zikov would work, boys. Okay, let me give all of four of these. There we go. That's gonna work. Okay, so that worked out. The bottom sixes I'm never gonna use and uh, use anyways. And Zikov is is um, basically trade bait for me. Uh, the top sixes and whatnot, they're just trade baits, so I don't really care. I'm going to go for the 20th pick now. Let's see if we can move up our another 20 pick. Uh, hopefully we can. Uh, if we can just keep trading away like a bunch of draft picks and stuff like that. A bunch of prospects. Petrov uh, would be the next one. Let me see really quick. That has been accepted. So we moved up. And now uh, we have the 20th pick. Let's see if we can go to the top 15 boys. We're moving, actually, we're moving pretty quick. So if we can move by 15 pick, that would be great. That would be great. I think we can definitely do it. Let me see really quick. All right, so top six right here. I think we can move further than this. We can definitely move further than this, I feel like. Uh, maybe even 12, 12 pick. Uh, we could probably do that just with that trade alone. Let me see really quick. Uh, for Primo, boys, let's see if that's going to go through. Uh, not quite. Okay, not quite. Uh, but if I put uh, the goaltenders in there that uh, I don't have assigned, not at all either. Okay, no. So that's not going to go true. So we can try the 15 pick, I guess. Let's try the 15 pick. Uh, Pittsburgh are probably, uh, they're about to make their pick right here. So obviously we're not, yeah, we're never, we're never going to get the uh, first overall pick anyway. So it doesn't matter. Uh, let me uh, try that trade. There we go. So that worked out. We've got the 15 pick. Uh, let me just simulate right uh, really quick because we're not going to have enough time anyway. So, uh, Jodry is the first overall pick this year. So, there's no franchise player. Uh, it's a medium elite uh, power forward, center power forward for uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, they're going for another center. They like their centers, that's for sure. All right, let's see if we can't trade away from Montreal. Trade away their pick. And uh, we'll give them uh, our other top six player, low top six, Nini, uh, Ninima. Let's see if they're going to want him. Uh, not quite enough. Maybe a little bit more, like two uh, prospect goaltenders with that. Okay, so that's not going to go through. Let's see if there's any players that uh, would be interesting uh, to trade, boys, because I'm, I, uh, that I know I'm not going to get back anyways, right? I'm going to need to get rid of. I do know that I got too many uh, defensemen anyways, right? So maybe a Travis Dermott could get rid of him and stuff, right? So we're getting rid of a, a Dermott or a Bryson. Bryson always ends up being the guy that plays in the minors though, right? Yes, he always plays in the minors. I'm kind of hindering his potential a little bit. Then again, is he better than Dermott? He is better than Dermott, so he would be a better depth defenseman. Let me get rid of Dermot. Maybe Montreal's going to want him. They would have too many players. So maybe I could get an exchange. I wouldn't like ask for anything really. A, a, like a random player. Any random player. Like this Trudeau guy for example. How many years does he's got one year left. I'm going to be able to get rid of him. Let's just do that. There we go. That's simple trade. They to do an exchange. It doesn't matter. So Dermot. Bunch of prospects and uh, exchanging first rounds. Not going to work. Okay, so we're not moving, boys. It's not going to uh, work out. We're not going to be able to move. We can probably move up by two, uh, three picks. That's probably a thing we can do. Uh, I'm, I imagine it's going to work out. Let me see really quick. Uh, top six. Let's see really quick. That's not going to work out either. Really? That much, huh? It's that much of a value. That's interesting. All right. Well, I guess we'll pick. Uh, we'll we'll keep our fifth pick. That's what we're gonna do, boys. We're just gonna keep our 15 pick. Second pick overall is a two-way defenseman, uh, 80 overall medium elite. Okay. Third pick, another medium elite sniper, and uh, playmaker. Wow. All right. So these we've got some really good. We got a deep draft. 
uh, kind of a deep draft, uh, right? Oh, maybe not actually. There's a lot of top sixes here. Lots of top sixes. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of... Uh, oh, Mia Mili, there it is. So they're just missed out on him big time. Montreal got lucky. They got themselves a medium elite uh, playmaker, boys. All right, good for them, I guess. Let's see if I can get lucky myself, boys. I hope I can. I really hope so. So all the way there, a bunch of the other players are good. Bunch of top sixes, though. All right, so we do have this Ivanov guy. Also, Hickman. Uh, I want to see the, the gems really quick, what we're going to have to work with. Uh, this guy might be a really good one. Is a gem, but uh, guaranteed tops, low top six though. He's a guaranteed low top six. Three years. So we're not going to pick him up. That's for sure. Not right now though. Other uh, uh, potential things is the Shirelli guy. So Shirelli could be uh, potentially an elite, which I think he is. These two guys, I think they're, uh, they are elites. So might pick them up. Other, uh, other than that, I don't have any other, any other things really. Oh, there is this guy as well. That might be a one. He might be an elite, boys. And he... One year... One year? Low elite? Oh, this guy is definitely the guy. Yeah, this is definitely my first round pick. I should have known that. He wouldn't have been picked. I gotta pick him up, boys. I gotta pick him up. This is the guy I gotta go for. I gotta go for him. Uh, one year left. He might not be an elite, but uh, even if he's not an elite, he's gonna be he's gonna be great. Uh, he is low elite, 72 overall playmaker center. Perfect, exactly the type of player we needed. That's a really good prospect for us, boys. That's a really good one. Now I'm happy about that one. Yeah, I'm really happy. Even Ivan Hickman uh, would not have been as good as him. So yeah, we picked up the best guy, the best version. If I would have known though that uh, I should have. I looked at it previously though well you never know right you you never know what you can really get but oh there we go like over here the capitals got themselves a medium elite goaltender so you know and that's on this we're on the second round so that's right before me so you know it's still a available thing so we've got got a couple of players we can pick uh there's this guy it says three years let's see if we are gonna be any luck uh, still this gem right here is still gonna be available i feel like uh, i think i got the third pick so i should be all right uh, to get him let me get uh i i want to get all of them though i want to get all of these guys because i know they're going to be ready yeah let's pick this uh tangan bryce tan i think uh he would be a great player for us let's see if we're gonna get lucky low top four all right uh, it's not as good as I thought it would be. It's, it's good, but uh, not the best. Definitely not the best. See if I uh, missed out on anybody. Not really messed out on anybody, though. Oh, pick 94, though. So all the way to pick 94. So see what I'm talking about, boys? So uh, we don't get a lot of choices here. Do I still have the gem? The gem is gone already. Yeah, the gem's gone. So I'm just going to go for this guy then. Dubois is the next pick I would have to go for. Now, he's 19 years of age. Uh, four years to grow, but his potential, it does say that he's got a good potential. Let me uh, just pick him up anyways. Medium top six. All right, it's not too bad. It's not a low top six, it's a medium top six. So that's a good potential. Uh, playmaker as well. So, all right. I'm happy with that. Nothing bad. I haven't picked up a single bad, tra uh, bad draft so far. We've got a guaranteed medium top four. I'm going to get myself some good trade baits as well if I don't want to use them later on. So... I'm not too sure which one would be better, Sullivan or uh, Yabronski. Whichever is the, uh, I think Sullivan is the um, the taller one. So I'm just going to pick the taller one. There we go. Medium top four uh, overall, 53 overall. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for me, boys. I'm happy with that. We Now we're coming to a point uh, where we're coming towards the end of it, really. There's not going to be a lot of options. There is still this guaranteed low top four. I'm going to pick him up. Kato, guaranteed low top four. I'm picking him up. I want these good draft picks, boys. All right. I'm not going to try and pick up a, a random person and tr and go uh, and go out of my way to uh, to find a, a, the next big thing, right? So I don't see anything here. Uh, there is this guy that has the potential to be a low elite. He could very well be a, a low top four anyways. I mean, I do have this Nyquist guy as well which he's a goaltender and he might be a good one because 
is almost a guaranteed medium starter, so we should probably try and go for him. Then again, there's also this Yolanen, Ilonen guy, but he's 20 years of age. That's a very risky maneuver to go for 20 years of age, boys. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about these ones. I, you know what? I'm going to go for Le Five. Le Five, I feel like uh, it would be a, a good addition. There it is. Yes. I had a good feeling about it because he was 18 years of age. So there it is. Low Elite. A low Elite, boys, in the, in the sixth round. Power forward left winger. So we got ourselves another prospect. We are right now doing really good as this is going to be our last pick. So we got to really pick the right one. We got this vault guy that could be interesting. We also have this starter. So it's either we pick like someone that could be a starter but he's 19 years of age. So that's a, that's a trap. I'm going to pick up the Damien vault guy. He's 18 years of age. You don't know what you're going to get out of him. Could get a gem, another elite, or you could get nothing. So let's hope that we get something. All right, that's something. It's not, it's not horrible. It's not good either. It's a top four, uh, top nine. So someone to trade uh, for the next draft picks and stuff like that. So, all right, that is completed. So I'm happy overall with the draft picks I did. A couple of elites here and there, and some top fours and top sixes. So. Yeah, I'm definitely happy. I feel like uh, I did good right here. As we have to assign new scouts. So let me do that. All right, it's done. I um, going. Uh, I went ahead and re-signed them. I didn't re-sign them just yet, but I offered them the contracts. Uh, speaking of contracts, it is time, boys. We're doing the off-season uh, today. So uh, it is time to look at what we've got on our roster. What we want uh, back and what we don't want back. Barry Boulet is obviously going to stay as our depth uh, forward. And we don't have a space for Pavelski anymore. Pavelski is 40 years of age. He's 81 overall. He's probably going to drop in the low se uh, high 70s. So uh, we don't have any space for a, a, t a guy like him anymore. He was a nice veteran. And uh, last year he did uh, do pretty decent for us. But I feel like uh, it's time to get rid of this guy. We uh, we need a, a, a center ourselves, boys. So well, we're going to obviously need a center. That's uh, That one's for sure. Also for the minors, uh, we already have one, two, and uh, that's pretty much it. So two centers already for the minors. And uh, we've got ourselves uh, Aiden as a chance, Stepan as well, or Ninima. Now Ninima is a prospect. He's a low top six. So you know what? I'm kind of tempted to yeah, I'm kind of tempted to sign him, try him out. So we're gonna get rid of uh, Stepan, I believe, right? Whoever, whoever is the the least, the worst of the, the bunch. I think Aiden uh, would be a better option than Stepan. So get rid of Stepan. Uh, uh, sign Nima because his contract is due anyways, and Mulan's contract is gonna be due next year. We're gonna have no choice but to sign him as well. So uh, in due time, that's our enforcer, by the way. I'm very intrigued by this guy. All right, so Nima, let me uh, let me sign you for the maximum amount of deal. Yeah, let me sign you. And uh, finally, but not least, uh, let's go ahead and sign uh, Hayden. I'm gonna sign him for the three-year deal at the maximum amount of money. All right, there we go. Perfect. So that's uh, gonna be perfect. So we got. Uh, we're just gonna need one center. Next up, we'll go into left wing position. We got uh, our four left wingers already. They're all there. Uh, Jeff Skinner. It's that contract that is still there, right? He's got another two years uh, with us again. He's 82 year, uh, 82 overall. He doesn't grow too much. He's a uh, he's produces fine, but he's not like for nine million. Uh, it's it, it's a lot. It's a lot, boys. He's costing us a lot. It's like a waste of a contract that I could get a better player for him. Uh, than him but you know we're kind of stuck with him for now as you can see Keller is now an 89 overall he's not an elite anymore I think this potential drop I'm pretty sure uh, that's fine I guess and um, for the miners we already have Perlini and Bloom which puts us at two players we do have to sign Abert as well so Abert is an elite player that we have to sign medium elite power forward let's sign him boys really quick uh, that's another prospect we got to do and uh, we've got Kisikov right here, which uh, seems like he's never really truly going to grow. He, like, he's really good. He's doing fantastic in the minors. He's like a real scorer. He's a big-time goal scorer. 
but it seems like he as a high top nine he's like up there he's not gonna grow that much that's unfortunate i'm gonna resign him because i feel like i want to give him his chance uh but um he's not doesn't seem like he's really gonna grow that much so we got our four left wingers as well so left wing is uh, doing fine and for the right wing position we got uh pasternak olsen talk and Montasso. all four of our players are already there we've got two players once again for the right minors so we need two uh two more i mean i'm not gonna sign eins just yet nor valk all right and next up boys defense wise we've got uh one two three four and five five defensemen six defensemen hold on one two three four five and six we already have six defensemen we got way too many defensemen i obviously i want to resign uh power i'm gonna not i'm gonna release manson first off we got way too many uh, defensemen way too many of them uh i'm gonna have to that's a problem because lazarev now is a a, a defenseman that's ready to play for us he's ready to play for us so he's gonna play uh, that's going to be his debut, right? Yeah, it's going to be his debut in the league as well. If I get rid of Derma, I will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah. So I want to obviously get uh, power back in the team. Obviously, I want him back. So uh, we are going to have to uh, get rid of Derma. Uh, I, I, I think cancel out the contract for Derma. We've got too many, uh, too many uh, defensemen. I could try and trade him away afterwards, but uh, we're going to have to get rid of him. So uh, get rid of Dermot. We're going to have to buy him out. Got too many dev defensemen right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, right here. And uh, that's the seventh defenseman. All right, good. For the the, uh, the the miners, we got four right here. So four defensemen. We're going to need two more. I am not going to sign any of these guys. They're not ready. So just we're just going to have to pick up two defensemen for the miners. And the goalies, finally, Campbell actually grew up to an 89 overall. He's actually doing good. It's almost an elite goaltender now. He's just one overall away from being an elite at uh, a 90 overall, boy. So that's really good for him. He's 33 years of age as well. So he's growing instead of uh, getting uh, like uh, going uh, downgrading. I like this one. I, I like Campbell, boys. Kind of want to give him a contract. He's a really good, really good uh, goalie for us. So we're going to keep him. Yeah, I want to keep him. Uh, we're going to just give him a two-year deal, though. Not too much, all right? Since we're just giving him a two-year deal, we'll give him a 9.15. And we got our two goaltenders with that. Subin needs a, a, a goaltender that's going to help him out in the minors. So we're just going to need one more goaltender. And that's uh, pretty much it, it's, it seems like, boy. So... That's all I needed to do. Let's just continue to uh, sim really quick and see who's gonna accept if I need uh, if I'm gonna need to offer a better contract. So, okay, so far so good. I think everybody uh, accepted. Yeah, I think everybody accepted the contracts, boys. So we're good. We can uh, head out towards the free agency, and now it is time. Let's see what we got as an option in the free agency. Lots of options this year. Oh my God. Look at the options. We got Kuznetsov first off, which is the guy that uh, is a playmaker for Ovechkin. Oh boy! Wow, look at that. Kuznetsov is a hundred plus play point player. If I want to upgrade my team, boys, I gotta do that. I gotta get them. If I see 90, uh, 90 plus players, I gotta get them. I have to get them. I got no choice. I'm just gonna have to trade away. Trade away the other players that I've got afterwards, you know, or even buy out their contracts. So I did need a center anyways, though. So I'm not going to have to buy out any contracts, actually, for the center position, at least, because um, I did need a center. So Kuznetsov is going to be the perfect replacement for Pavelski. That's for sure. I mean, I see Crosby down there. I see him, boys. It would be fantastic to have him on the team. But uh, he is dropping fast, and I feel like uh, you need to have a Kuznetsov on your team. So uh, let's have him in there. We're going to have Kuznetsov. Uh, we're only going to get him for two years because he's probably going to start dropping fast. So we're, I only have one in for the two years for now. We are going to give him the 
9.75 uh, deal, uh, 12.75, okay? For two years. That's the amount of money we're going to give him. Hopefully he accepts, boys. I hope so. Uh, we also need, so we need a left, uh, we're going to see. Left wing position, we got Patrick Liney available for the, uh, in the free agency. So we're definitely going to pick him up. That's a definite option. I'm, I'm doing it for sure. So I'm picking up, um, I'm picking up Patrick Liney, boys. That's a, it's, it's just like, it's not even, it's not even a, a, a question. I'm definitely picking him up. So, uh, we're going to make sure he signs with us. So instead of two, uh, 12 million, we're going to give him 14.4 million, boys. 14.4 at six years. All right. You come with us, please. Right wing. Uh, right wing, we've got two of them. We've got Rentanen and we've got Marner. That's a lot better, boys. And I'm definitely going to get those. That's for sure. So Rentanen and um, both of them, I'm going to get them. I'm going to give him a five-year deal. So he pay, brings him up at 33 years of age. Just to make sure he does sign with us. We're going to have to give him... Uh, normally, it would be 11. So we're going to have to give him 13.8. 13.8. We're going to hope that it uh, it's enough to... Uh, to convince him and also Marner, uh, definitely want him as well in the team. Uh, give him the same thing, five-year deal at uh, 13.550 for him. A little bit less than Rentanen. So, yeah, we're going to have, if they all accept boys, we're going to have a stud-ass team. Uh, there's no way we're going to lose in the playoffs with a team like that. So, we do need the two right wingers for the minors though. So, remember, we still need these guys. So let me uh, make sure that we do get those. For the miners, who are we going to pick up? I mean, we need to pick up some good players. So Volkov guy, this Volkov guy could be, uh, would be a good one. Let's pick, let's just pick him up. I'll give him the three year deal at maximum amount of deal. And also we need to pick up another good one. Zvagor Naski could be a, uh, a good one as well. Uh, we, I think he's the only other option really. Zach Kation, not really a fan of him. So yeah, I'm going to pick uh, this guy up and uh, I guess we'll give him the three year deal. Oh, actually, he's the guy that could grow. Yeah. So no, I'm, I don't want him. I'm going to pick uh, Zach Cation then, boys. And uh, we'll give him a one year deal. Actually, we are going to give him the one year deal at uh, 2.25. Just make sure that he does sign with us for the defense. We have another defenseman we need to sign, absolutely. Chitron, we do need to sign this guy. We need to get him for ourselves. Let's definitely do that. Let's go get him, boys. Um, It's going to take a lot. We're going to need five-year deal with him as well, it looks like. And we're going to have to give him 14.4. Let's do that contract right now. Let's hope that he does accept. We do need two minor defensemen. Let's see if uh, we can find anybody. So uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to pick up some offensive defensemen here and there. Uh, this uh, Walsh guy can still grow though. Uh, so I'm not going to pick him up. Same thing for Dursey. Uh, we, I think we could Fairbrother. I think I'm just going to go for Fairbrother, I guess. He can't grow. Oh, he can. I need to pick up some people that I, can, I cannot grow. Like this, Cabia, this guy right here. Uh, Capo Bianco uh, guy. I'm going to pick him up. I'll give him uh, uh, the, uh, the six-year deal, boys, for 2.25. 2. Uh, 2. That should be enough for him to be convinced to come with us. And we just need one more defenseman that is not growing, currently growing. Uh, I guess Noah Jolson, why not? Just pick Noah Jolson, boys, and uh, give him the three-year deal. Why not? Give him the three-year deal right there, just like that. And finally, but not least, goaltender-wise... Uh, we're just going to pick up a minor goaltender. We got a, a goaltender for the minors. Who would be the best option? I'm not too sure. Uh, we got Renta. I, I kind of want a veteran goaltender, to be honest, like always. Let's just put Renta in there. Let's pick him up. Let's pick uh, Renta up. And uh, we'll give him a four-year deal, boys. Four-year deals at uh, uh, 1.75. Why not? Okay, so that's uh, that's good enough. So... We got all of that. All we need to do right now is to wait and see if all the big time players, all the 90 play plus players are going to accept their contracts. If they all do, we are basically going to be unstoppable. Uh, so let's hope that they do. We do have Renta for the minors. We got Zenk, uh, Kation as well, Capo Bianco, and Jolson. 
and Volkov as well. All right, so we've got all the depth players that we needed. And we sure can for Rantanen. We've got Rantanen on the right wing. We've got Laine on the left wing. Chitrin on the defense, boys. Marner on the right wing as well. And Kuznetsov, they all accepted. Fantastic. Which means that now we have way too many players. Way too many players. Now, here's the thing. We are not in the preseason just yet. And I can make as much mini trades as I can during the offseason. We're not in the preseason. So the season hasn't started yet. So I'm going to do the trades right away. The trades that I need to do. Mekinen, Kuznetsov. So who is ready? So obviously we wanted Barry Boulet to be in there. So he's going to be our depth. So we're going to be good. For center position, we're going to be fine. It's the uh, the other position. So left wing. Yeah, we got too many. So now it's the perfect time to get rid of a Skinner, boys. I don't want to trade them to teams that are the same uh, like division as me. But All right, let me just try this one out. Uh, first round pick and, and a fourth. First and a fourth because that I feel like I can get uh, at least that. I should get at least that. So let's see if that's going to go through. That's been accepted. All right, so we did it. I just dumped them all. So they're all going to the New York Rangers. I don't know what the New York Rangers are going to do with them. I don't really care. Uh, all I care about is the fact that I've got uh, a team that is an unstoppable team now. And I can pretty much do whatever I want with them. So, uh, And I've got a first round pick. So I'm happy with that trade. I'm um, happy with that trade, boys. And now it's the time... For us to basically simulate all the way to pre season, uh, we're gonna do that for the next video. Uh, today we got the exact we we uh, did exactly what we wanted to do, which was to upgrade our team to the next level. That's definitely done now. That's done. If we can't win the cup with that team, I don't know what kind of team we're gonna need more. So uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the interview. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.